Good evening, rockers. And once upon a time in a land far, far away known as Australia, we met up with the Radio Sun. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hey, everybody. I'm still Gino D. And you guys were absolutely brilliant. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And like I said, uh, you were one of my favorite acts from last year. We Thank brought you, you back. Um, and so what have you been doing in the last year? Yeah, well, we... N nothing stops for us, so we're writing the new album. Yeah, um, we've already we've it's already written, already completed. We've already finished five songs, and pretty much as soon as we get back home, we start recording the rest of the album, and that'll be out uh, November of, of this year. So Correct. Yeah, I've already got on good information that it will be completed. Yes, oh, it will be. <laughs> we hundred percent. Paul's mixing it again, um, but it just doesn't stop for us. That's the whole thing. It's like we just want to keep continue every yeah. every year, do the same thing, like old school. You yeah. Know? yeah. So yeah. Big, write, big, record. Yeah. Tool. A big thing for us is. Since we formed the band, we've released a, a, a CD every year, so we're very active. We want to release product, and we want we work hard. And you know, whether it be playing live or recording CDs, we've released four albums in four four years as of you know this year. So coming up for November, so yeah, exciting. Yeah, which is a non-stop machine. Yes, as well. But then again, I can understand why that relationship with you and Paul works. Okay. Now we now we both agree on one thing. You do need to get hair product endorsement. We, <laughs> we, we recommend L'Oreal. Okay, because you, you might not think you're worth it, but they might. So. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's gold. Oh no, 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 no. Paul and I had a good chat about uh, about you guys. So, uh, so, mm. so, yeah. so, so, so now's your time to get back at him. No, nah, he's, he's a champion. <laughs> no, no, he is. Uh, but he also has been very instrumental in the way that you guys write. I mean, you guys are very talented writers and musicians in your own right. I mean, and he, what he said to me earlier was he didn't consider himself, you know, a proper producer. He just comes in and does a few little, little bits. But uh, you well, know, the, the producer it, role. It's it's a it's an interesting relationship because it's it's. It's a, it's a mixing role, it's, yeah. a, it's a mentoring role, um, but yeah, he's, he's probably right. It's not necessarily a traditional produ producer role where yeah. we'd send him material and he'd be like, okay, now we, we've got to cut this chorus out. We're going to. It's not like that at all. Basically, he makes it sound better. You know, it's like we, we the songs are already done. We already record them. We send them over to him, and he's like, yeah, great. And uh, occasionally, he'll hear something in a song that we haven't haven't heard. So, yeah. for example, the song Broken. So it it. Was already it's, it's the, the format of the song is exactly the same, um, but he heard that as you know, let's make that a bit more AOIRish, put you know, a bit more layering keys, some layered uh, guitars that we hadn't thought of before, and just embellished what we already do. Yeah. So he he never uh, he never criticizes. He's he's never like that song isn't any good. I don't like that part. It's always like I, I love what you're doing. And there's some songs he doesn't touch at all, and others he's like, you know what? I think this one needs just a little bit more polish on it. Yeah. Um, so it's, and it's great, and he's he's so well. He's like us. He's a lover of music. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and I, I can see why the relationship works. Yeah. But then again, watching you guys on stage with him on that acoustic set, that was just the best fun session that we've had in a very long time and like I said oh, it is wow. the first Thank time you. that uh, we've had a standing ovation come out of a, uh, an acoustic wow. session uh, that's fantastic yeah. uh, and, but that is what it is you guys like having fun Paul yeah, likes absolutely. having fun yeah. uh, and you like having that fun with the music and enjoying it and it definitely translates um, Thank you that's, yeah. you know what that's, you can't get a better compliment than that and yeah. you know what we really it is genuine, you mm -hmm. know, and and the thing is as well. Like I, I think a lot of people could, you know, portray a certain image or portray that. Oh yes, we're super nice, or we're super friendly, or we're very easygoing. But if it isn't really you, you'd get caught out pretty quickly because yeah. everyone knows everyone. It's a small circle, so we we are just who we are. We're music fans first and foremost before anything else. Like once we finish working and interviewing and all the stuff that we do that we love anyway. We're up the front, yeah. you know. We're watching, watching FM. We're watching Slaughter. We're watching Little Ford. We're watching all of them. So, and Vega, and, and Vega absolutely. Vega, Vega. Yeah. Excellent. yeah. Well, and that's the downside. Tomorrow is that we'll be watching from the side because we've got to get ready for Paul. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. But we're um, also buzzed to to be working with Paul because as kids, you know, some of our favourite bands. We grew up with Danger, Danger, and you know, all this stuff. And to be working with Paul, it's 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 amazing. It really mm -hmm. is because. You know, like I, I loved that stuff as a kid, 
and to actually be working with Paul and not just like a fanboy thing, but he's the real deal. Yeah, you know, when people hear him sing, and not only in terms of helping with the songwriting, but he's such a complete musician, great okay. singer, great guitar player, arranger, keyboard, keyboard player, keyboard player. Yeah. does everything. Yeah. So for us, yeah, it's a perfect. Fit. I'll, just, I'll just have to work on his jokes, won't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 that's the only thing I can give him. I can't teach him anything else. But, uh, but it really is, and I know it, it does sound, or it can sound like we're gushing and it's fanboy but it is really true he's yeah. a really genuine person he would do anything for us well I, I, I think for fans of you guys and fans of Paul when you know they see you go on stage together be it the acoustic stuff or be it on, uh, the electric stuff sure. uh, I think that they will be they'll understand why you make that statement is just because uh if you hadn't done Danger, Danger, then I, you guys, it, it, it's a perfect fit. You, you yeah, guys yeah, are yeah. a band in that respect, irregardless of what moniker he wants to put around it and all the rest of it. Right. This is just uh, five guys that actually work together yeah, yeah. really, really well. Yeah. And, and and for us, it's, thank you for that first seat, but it is it is surreal though still. Yeah. Like, we, we still don't, even though, like, we're, we're great friends, and Steve and Paul more so, like, they talk a lot on Skype, um, and particularly with... Uh, you know, arranging stuff and there's yeah. some little things in the works also with Steve's story we can talk about it a little bit later but um, he it really is a friendship first yeah. and foremost that's right. um, and that's from then it's the respect of, of, of the songwriting together but we're still in awe yeah. you know yeah. and, and, it, and it's it's so funny and it's it's such a compliment to say you know it's it's a band and we do gel together and all that band are like you know he's picking on me we're picking on it's, it's real we, we, yeah. like, we, we just love each other but we still on. We're still on stage, and we're just like we've got the best seat in the house. This yeah, is yeah. unbelievable. You know, he's like, it, it is so much fun. And like I'm singing with Paul Lane, you know, yeah. and it's it's amazing. He's so good, um, and it's amazing. You know, so it, it's never taken for granted. Yeah, we're friends. We joke around, but it's still like for us anyway. Um, he's just up there. You know, we're just like, and it's kind of yeah. criminal in some ways that. You know, he's not bigger than what he is because he's so like I mean don't get me wrong you know he's had his success yeah but it's he's such a good singer and performer it's unbelievable and we're like like Jay said just going holy crap like I remember the first time we ever got together in a room when we were rehearsing we just looked at each other and just giggled you know how <laughs> how good this guy is and, and I don't I, sometimes I don't think Paul realizes how good he is you know, so yeah. like, yeah, but that's what makes him so humble. Yeah. That, yeah. I think is, is that he's very modest and it's oh, yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. And it just rolls off him so naturally. That's it. It thing. does. It just makes it look so easy, and you just yeah. I want to tell you when to go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm we're, yeah. We're, you know rehearse. I mean, we didn't rehearse at all for as in together for, for yeah. this tour. Obviously, we're in other countries, but when we have uh, in Australia, and the last time we were in the states, you're in the rehearsal room, and he's just fluffing around, and his voice is. It's like, for me, it's embar- I have to sing with him, and it's yeah. embarrassing. I'm like, man, I have to sing with it. It's too hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, like, oh, I'm just mucking around. I'm like, it's yeah. too hard. I can't do harmonies to that. You know, it's, it's, it really is incredible. And, and for, I, look, for the yeah. people here at, at Hard Rock Hell, I think tomorrow when we play electric as well, I mean, this was awesome, but when, when we play electric, I really believe that people are going to walk away just like yeah. jaw, jaw yeah. dropping. That's how good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is great. And, and the thing is, I mean, just the catalogue as well, obviously. It touches on everything, you know, his yeah. solo stuff. Obviously, his time with Danger, you know, doing the ten songs, but yeah. his time with it because he played that live, and, and, um, the, and his own era. As and well. yeah, that's yeah. right, you know, yeah. Yeah. and defines as well. So you're kind of getting like f- kind of four bands at once, you know. It's like the yeah. solo, yeah. then the Ted Danger, yeah. then the him Danger, yeah. then Defiance. It's like yeah. you know, mm. five way threat. So, yeah. and I, again, I know it sounds like we're a fanboy, but we, we're in the band, but we really are fans. Yeah. And yeah. as we spoke even last time, Jenna, it's like. We just love music, and that's why we, you know, we will come back every year. Like we love it. You yeah. know, it's such a and and you know, with Rend it last year, I was like, you know, and people thought that was again a shtick. Like, oh, you'll come back next year. Like, we'll come back every year. Yeah. You know, we love I it, love and it. we love the fact that yeah. we've got an audience to play to who are so kind, yeah. and we get to see our idols as well. Yeah. You know, and it it really is like you know. Last year with Taketo and Dan Reed, we're just like going. This is they don't come to Australia. This is like unbelievable. Um, And then this year, like the lineup this year is, I think personally, um, unbelievable. 
Yeah, well, did, did, and like I said to a lot of people, this is my record collection on one stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, I can be like Luke. <laughs> yeah. out. It's yeah, like, yeah. I get to interview some of my, you know, people yeah. that I grew up with, you yeah. know, yeah. and all that. So. But we're, we're the same, though, Janet, you know, yeah. and, and like, that's the thing. Like, we, and you can probably tell in the influences of our yeah. music, but we are fans first and foremost we're yeah. fans and that's why we write and yeah. so oh we've written songs about it we're like we wrote absolutely. this one song called someone tell me why my heroes are dying i mean we we lost bowie and we've lost you know dio and lemmy and you know all prince, these, prince. You know, jackson yeah, yeah prince and you know all these uh, not just george not michael you know all these people that are just they're gods and so you know we love it so we try and reflect that with our songwriting as well sometimes yeah, and, yeah. yeah. but that's also why um, you know, people ask us sometimes, but you're constantly writing, or, well, you know, how do you be so pro- prolific? Yeah. Um, and, you know, the real answer to that is, one, we, we love doing it, obviously we wouldn't. It's it's not a chore, it's not laborious at all. Exactly, and, this is what you we know, love. Yeah, literally, we, we wake up, and even, you know, the funniest thing was, we were rehearsing one of the songs yesterday, just Steve and I, acoustically, yeah. um, one of the songs in Tomorrow's set, we're like, oh, we might change this set up. Whilst we were doing that, I was, Steve was like, I like that idea, hang on mm. a second. And we wrote a song. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we've already got, yeah. even though this album's already done, and this might sound really silly, so the new album that we're recording now... <laughs> Probably be now, out about November. 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 2017. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we've already, and this will sound ridiculous, I know, but so we're going home to finish the recording of our new album, which will be out in this year, yep. November, and we've already got maybe five or six songs for the for album the after that. Uh, no, yeah. no, yeah, I, yeah. I don't find that strange at all because yeah. I think a lot of bands nowadays are, you know, I work with a couple of bands and they, they're they already sitting, you know, album launches next week, they've already 10 songs in and ready go. for the next That's one. Perfect. It's like, it's like yeah. quick delivery and you don't get your hands in. Cool. Yeah, well, I was just work. reading in, in a magazine yesterday, actually, which great mag- for those who haven't got one, grab one of these magazines. It, it's very, very cool. Great read, very slick. Um, but the article on Choir Boys, I'm talking to yeah. you, the article on Choir Boys was fascinating and the fact was, Similar thing, you know. That, that was opposite. They were yeah. four albums in three years. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "That's unbelievable." Yeah. Check, um, trick, two albums this year. You know, yeah, but this yeah. is now. I'm yeah, doing yeah. yeah, yeah but, so I mean, same I, thing. But, but, but you look at the old, the older days where bands were launching two, three albums. Yeah, a year. yeah. yeah. Well, Kiss did two in a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fifties and sixties, where it was just yeah. single, single, single. That's yeah. right, and that was the opposite. Then yeah. it was like literally thirty singles in a year. It was yeah, always yeah. a single. Um, and that's a big push for us, I think, in terms of releasing product, but also by doing these acoustic sets, people can tell that we're the real deal I mean I'm not trying to sort of you know um, to their horn too much but we can do it acoustic and really do it yeah. so when you hear us live we're really singing you know yeah. and I, I'm not trying to knock others but uh, who use tapes and stuff but that's you know we're all about being able to deliver the vocals you know that's why we love bands like Def Leppard you know stuff people who can sing so on that note no auto tone no pro tools <laughs> the real deal that's it. Uh, what can I say the Radio Sun. Thank you. Thank and, you, uh, Guys, it's been an Thank absolute pleasure as always. And I'm still Gino D, and I'll catch you later on down the road. Thank you very much. Take care.